Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the Depth Texture Focus op. I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Great, let's get started. So, I'm going to pull an outlet from here, and I'm going to make an Image Compose op. Underneath this, I'm going to create the Depth Texture Focus op. This expects a depth texture, so I'm going to grab this from render to texture and plug it in. And I'm going to disconnect this so we can just see what's happening. Now we don't see anything because the far plane, which is how far it reaches, is too great. So we need to bring it to the range of where the shapes are. So let's put it around here, 32. If I now use center, as you can see, I'm moving where the focus point is right now, which is represented by a gradient. That's the white part that you see. The width. It's how wide this is. So if I put it really narrow now, and then move it around, we don't see so much. Make it bigger, and we get this smoother gradient applied. So now we need to use this to blur an image. So I'm going to make an image compose, and then I'm going to attach a draw image. Let me just tidy this up for a moment. And we're going to get the render to texture normal output, plug that into image. And let's just plug that back over here. We've got a few jaggies. We click render to texture. We put MSAA on 8 to get it crisp again. So now if we add a blur here, just to the output of the image, as you can see, we blur everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the mask input from blur with what we got from here. It's a little bit confusing at the beginning, but once you get it, it makes perfect sense. So I'm just going to grab the output. This was the depth texture focus output, and I'm going to plug it in here. And as you can now see, certain parts of the image are blurred and other parts aren't. So if I now move center, as you can see, it's like this depth of focus effect from a camera. Now, it doesn't look really too good right now, so we're going to add another blur here. And we're going to put this on 5. And this blur here, we're also going to have on 5. And now we get a much more smoother, natural result. So let's go over to the random cluster. Let's crank it up to 300 so we get a lot more shapes. I'm going to use the right mouse button to move around so we can get a bit of a clearer view. And as you can see, we've now got more information to look at. So I can now use Center to focus on different parts of the image and width to make it more narrow or wider. This was an introduction to the Depth Texture Focus app. I hope it's been educational for you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below. Thanks for your time. Bye.